but let's uh, a little bit. Let's recap these games a little bit, man, before we get into the interviews with uh, St. Thomas and Shamanad. Uh Everybody, this 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 been waiting on this weekend, man. Uh, the build up from the group, uh, a lot of trash talking in there, man. A lot of anticipation. Uh, everybody waiting to see the teams, see how they look in their first game, uh, which was a kickoff classic this weekend. Um, starting out, we had um, New Orleans and uh, Pompano Beach Ely. Then we had uh, Northwestern Chaminade and Booker T and Heritage. So, I guess let's, let's start with New Orleans, man. Let's start with New Orleans. A lot of trash talk in the group about New Orleans. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, waiting to see what New Orleans going to do. I got to tell you, boy, New Orleans showed up. Dog. I, was, I was surprised, New Orleans. I, 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 they, they surprised me. And what you want to get out of a kick, kickoff classic is execution. You want to be sharp. You know what I mean? And I seen that from New Orleans, from the, from the offense, you know what I'm saying, to their defense, to their special team. So I was impressed with New Orleans, dog. I can't even lie. What you thought about it? I mean, I didn't get a chance to see you went after that game, man. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, obviously the defense did very well. Mm-hmm. I was told they threw four passes for a touchdown. That's crazy. Yeah. So you tell me what you saw, and because I, I I attended the game of the week, Booker T and Heritage, and a sad situation happened, and I'm, I'm definitely happy that the kid is all right and getting better, mm-hmm. or not. But yeah, so tell me, tell us what you're seeing from Northern. So my breakdown of Northern. Let's start with the offense. Mm-hmm. I thought the offense came out good. I thought I thought they was uh, efficient. I thought they was organized. There was no confusion. Um, uh, the kid uh, EJ, the quarterback, you know he looked good. He looked poised. He goes through his reads. It ain't there. He takes off. Uh, the receivers look good. Uh, the little kid Mari had a nice touchdown. The spot touchdown. Fourteen caught a nice slant across the middle for a touchdown. Uh, run game looked good. Uh, uh, back on the offense, um, I thought Quay did a good job when um, when Ely uh, showing blitz. They was they was they was coming uh, hard and often. Made some good adjustments. Had an outside sweep. Had a um, nice nice screen. Had a nice uh, back out the backfield. So he adjusted adjusted good with that, and he adjusted uh, quick. So I like what I seen. From New Orleans offense, um, the defense was really good. I thought the D line played played well. Mm-hmm. Um, Jerm son, big six kid is just a, 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 a stopper in that middle man. It's just hard to move, creating havoc. I think he had a few um, tackles for losses, busting through the line. Uh, I thought the the number one the end, he's the real deal. That shorty gonna be the real deal. I thought the corners played well. Number four flying around out there. Uh, making good tackles, number two, he's a good cover guy. He was covering mm-hmm. one of the best wide receivers down here, so uh, he did a good job with that. More importantly, uh, what I like was the entire pursuit of the defense. Like, them kids was out there flying around. You see eight, nine, ten guys around that ball. So when you when you teach that pursuit drill, you know, throughout the spring, throughout the summer, and it translates to the game, that's what you want to see from the defense, you know what I mean? Kids flying around <clears throat> and making plays. And uh, Ely, hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be tough on him. Ely, boy, y'all got some work to do, boy. Somebody tag Wally on him, man. That 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 that, that Ely got some work to do. That Ely got some work to do. But I seen some little bright spots in Ely, man. Um, thought the kid number one, good ball player, receiver. Uh, Thirteen and fifteen, some little shifty kids. But um, they got a they got some trouble with their old line. Cool. They got to they got to get that fixed. And I mean, granted, um, you might not see an old line like New Orleans old line until they run into um, St. Thomas probably during the playoffs. So that's probably one of the best D lines they're gonna see this year. And it's good that they seen it in the kickoff classic game. So now they can get the feel of the expectations, what the expectations of this team, or their team need to be. So they got a lot of work to do, man. And what about Dolphins? What the run game look like? Run game was, run game wasn't good. And the run, it, it's all, it's all predicated off the line. If, if the line ain't not blocking, your run game ain't there. 
your passing game ain't there. So as a coordinator, I think they offensive coordinator guy has to call plays according to the line play. Correct. If that makes sense. You know Adjustments, I mean? that's all. Right. So some of that, some of this, the, the stuff you have in your system, draw it up. You're going to have to modify it. You're going to have to tweak it. So it's your run game. He got, to, he got to run it. Shit, you can't drop back I'm 60 saying, times a game. You see the run game. I seen the run game, coach. Them people, them people stuff that shit. You understand me? <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing. Okay. Man, man, uh, Big Six was bu- busting through that shit, coach. But what about Northern run game? Northern run game was great. Number 20 had some good runs. The mm-hmm. little, uh, the, uh, little, little stocky kid, he, he runs hard. Uh, 28 is a taller, smooth kid, but he had some nice runs too. But number 20... 20 rounds hard. That's the guy. What about the passing attack? How, how EJ look? EJ look good. <clears throat> you, know, he, you know, he missed a few throws, but you know that's 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 giving of a of a of a, of a kickoff class. You know what I mean? But he, he went through his read. It wasn't there. He do what he do best. He take off. Shit, that boy. I lo- seen that boy. He a load in the open field, boy. It's it's it's, it's one kid. The, the, the touchdown they call his touchdown they call back. Kid damn near was on the grass tried to hit his ankle. And he jumped over him, yeah, and they call a the and they call a hurling penalty. So they brought a touchdown back because a dude trying to shoot me low and take my old ankle out, and I jump over him. They call him a touchdown back. I don't understand that rule, but <clears throat> whatever. Correct. You know what I mean? But overall, overall, uh, Norland look good. I got to get to him now. Some people gonna downplay. Oh man, you know they played Pompano Beach ED, and uh, they wasn't that good. But you have to look. You have to be optimistic about the situation because you got to look at it on the other side too. What if they didn't play well against Eden? Now y'all ride Northern. And you know that's going to happen. You definitely, see what I'm saying? Definitely in the portal group. It's definitely going to happen. And I got a chance to go out there and see Booger T. Heritage, like I said, a sad situation happened. The kid is good. And But, but, what I seen in that short period of time, I got a chance to see Heritage on defense and on offense. I got a chance to see Booger T on offense. My honest opinion, I was about to get ugly. Like Booker T way? Yes. Yeah. Like that was yeah. That, that was about to get ugly, honestly. Like honestly speaking, that was about to get real ugly. They had just go, just stopped them, mm-hmm. and had the ball on their side of the field. So I was expecting 14, 14-0 if the game was to continue to be played, but it was stopped with like five minutes on. Five second, minutes second on quarter. in the first quarter. First quarter. In the oh, first okay. quarter. Oh, the second quarter. No, okay, first, first quarter. quarter oh, it was five minutes left. The games were stopped because of the situation. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, Booker T looked good. I, I, I have been saying this since day one. With, with Ice alone, they're going to be better. But now you got Max involved. Y'all know who Max is when it comes to that defense. He's a mastermind. He's going to get it done. Yes, y'all know he's going to do what he want to do. But they look good. From just that small portion, I like to see more, so I definitely be to the next game. So yeah, then I went to Edison game Wednesday night. Mm, mm. Yeah, they should have just left. Like <laughs> seriously, they should have just pulled out. It was eight minutes running clock, Eddie. four quarters. So, oh, oh, yeah, they got real ugly real fast. Like they scored, it was twenty-one zip. Eight, like I say, eight minutes a quarter. They had to cut it down because it was late. Game ain't started around nine o'clock. But they got something to build on. They got some kids. But yeah, I like what I seen in Miramar. That quarterback, yeah, he, he legit. Was. He definitely legit. He made the throws like he was smooth. He didn't crack under pressure. And that number nine at Miramar, coming off that end. The end. Yeah, oh shorty, real deal. God, he the real deal. I definitely can vouch for that. I like what I seen in that Miramar team. So I'm sure they'll do good where they at right now, over in that division. But you know they gotta see St. Thomas, yeah. that's what, and that's where it gets real ugly at real fast. And Homestead, they gotta see and Homestead, Homestead. They, they, they get through it. But my take on the Edison, um, <clears throat> Edison offense, uh, I thought the quarterback number seven, he looked pretty good. But like I say, all this play is predicated on how your O line play. You know what I mean? And that's for uh, sure. Obviously, Edison um, as a as a whole O line, they got some work to do. Yes. Uh, Particularly the, the the center uh position. You can't uh muff those balls in the ground. You you can't even get a play started. You know, the the snap was kinda high. Sometimes it was on the ground. 
left, right. So first and foremost, they got to get that fixed. If you got a problem at center, you got a big problem. You know what I mean? Because the quarterback got to get the ball. So they got to fix that. Then uh, fix the old line as a whole. Um, I caught their skill guys. You know, it looked pretty good, too, moving around. Uh, I think it was a kid, 15, 16, tall kid. Yeah. Uh, it looked pretty good. But overall, yeah, they got some work to do. Yeah, they got but, some work but, to but, do. But forget all that, Lou. Yeah. The people want to hear what happened yesterday. <sighs> it got so ugly so fast. Yeah. In life. Yeah, this, okay, so. It got real ugly real fast. That's all I'm going to say. I know y'all want to clown. I mean, y'all been clowning us since last, well, clowning North Western since last night. And yeah. it got real ugly. Like, there's nothing I can say. Honestly, what do you expect? You got the veterans against the rookie. The veterans showed the power. Are y'all like, what were you really expecting? And then I kept asking questions. North Western, what, what, what our old line look like? What the old line look like? The only thing I got back was, oh, we big. Oh, yeah, we this, we that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man, what I seen last <laughs> night, man, was too funny. Like, when I say ridiculously funny, it's like, like, like what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And guess what? In the group, all they talked about is trenches, trenches, trenches. We have no trenches. So it's definitely going to be a long season for Miami Northwestern. But as the season go on, I expect them to get better. I expect Mike Lee to coach them up. But, boy, dealing with that showing off, ooh. Ooh, that thing was ugly, and it ain't get no better. I'm thank you for the lightning, God. Thank you for the light. I just wish you would have did it at like six thirty. Like I, I really wish you would have did it like six thirty. Like it got real ugly real fast. But hey, that's what it is. We got to deal with that L. Take it, get better. Boy, we don't. Really feel better. Like they say about what they say. I think I think when I say they say what two and eight. Two and seven, something like that for Northwest. Two and eight, nah, hey, bro. No, this, 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 this what he said. Nah. Hey, man, we gotta, we got we got, we gotta deal with it. Nah, nah, two nah, and eight. Nah, fuck I don't me. think two and eight, eight, but it might be three mm-hmm. and seven. Well, we getting over five hundred, or you at sure? least five hundred. You I'm, think so? I'm sure. That's what you think. Ain't no think so. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Nah. But with that being said, what else? Central, Central dominant front seven. Dominant front seven, wasn't too impressed with the offense. Quarterback situation, yes, they got a lot of them. That's it, got a lot of them. Running attack, amazing, they say. Fronts, I mean, the O-line, good. So they got key pieces, they got the front seven, they got the offensive line. After that, you gotta make some, there's a lot of questions after you get, but they got the key pieces. As long as they are gonna be able to run that ball with four running backs, four good running backs, they're going to be all right. Because eventually, it's definitely going to open up the passing game. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't really get to see the the, 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 the Central game. I was watching, um, I was trying to tune in on uh, Diego Live. I know Diego went live. Yeah. So I was on Diego Live for a little bit, trying to watch that and the Northern game at the same time. Um, I couldn't really, like I said, I couldn't really um, see it, but know from what I'm hearing uh, pretty much the quarterback situation uh, has to be solved you know what I mean uh, they said the, 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 the running game was good you know what I mean but like I was saying earlier this year they have to be able to push the ball down the field to make them a balanced offense if if you just go into a, a game and people know that you just one dimension trying to just run the football they gonna load up on you you will no longer get uh, a traditional 42 box. If they know you can't throw the ball, they're going to they the pack the box. You know what I mean? And try to take away what you do best. You know what I mean? So it's going to make it tougher. It's going to make it tougher for central run game. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the quarterback situation has to be solved. Those kids have to be able to complete passes. And they also have to be able to push that ball down the field. Right. So, um, like I said, they, they say the defense uh, did pretty good. Um, I'm assuming they did, but they, they held Ocala seven. to what, seven? Seven, yeah, seven. seven points. So, <clears throat> um, assuming they did pretty good. On the other hand, I seen the game with um, Bishop Gordon versus, um, I forgot the other team. Yeah, some team. They was in the shootout at the half. Man, they was like, what, 28, 28, 28? They 30, started 30? off in the first half, and they was down 
21-28. Mm. When the second half started, them people ended up with 60 plus points. I watched the line open up holes. Gorman? Yes, Gorman opened up holes. They gave up second half, seven points. No, half. 14 points. But if Century gonna have a chance, they're gonna have to run that ball and use the speed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out muscle them. That D-line gotta do what they gotta do. But Gorman offense looked high power. Like they were scoring so fast, you're like, God. Damn, but their like, defense gave up what? 42? 42, 42 points. They gave so up that, 28 and then came up and gave up 14 and 14 in the so second. They, half. So they can be scored on. They definitely that's why so I that's say a good thing. you have a chance right, if they that's use a good that thing. speed. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so. that's what it is for now. Well, let's see. I just want to go, let me go back to this Northwestern game. Because I, I I really want to talk about uh, the West, the West and uh, Shamanai game. My take on the West offense, um, I think we didn't play well on the O line, <clears throat> um, and I think what what Mike would have to do, or you know, make some adjustments as time go on. Um, really, probably have to modify and adjust the the, the play calling to the line. You know what I mean? So, cause sometimes, most of the time. You don't have a good O line. You know what I mean? It might be average or Ass. below average. If you got a great O line, you good to go. Especially right. down here in South Florida. You know what I mean? Because we don't have linemen like that. So if your O line not good, quick game is your best friend. Um, screens. And I, 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 I'm not just talking wide receiver screens. I'm talking about running back screens. I'm talking about tight end. You have to be a screen master. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that helps your O-line. You know what I mean? That helps with the, 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 the O-line taking pressure off them. <clears throat> um, I thought the quarterback looked good. You know, he got he got flushed a lot of plays because protection uh, broke down. Uh, I thought Pito ran hard. Uh, we had some flashes out of our receivers. We got some good young receivers. Um, number four, fast kid. Um, CJ, you know, he caught a nice little slant. Uh, come across the middle, thing like on a little broken play. He look, look, no, he look pretty good. Yeah. Um, the defense. I think the defense, the defense gonna be all right, man. I mean, they play, you know, what I'm saying a juggernaut, like Shamanah, dog, just, just a machine, bro. And I thought they, I thought we could have played better, but I mean, like you said, we we playing against two five star kids, man, a, a four star, <laughs> uh, quarterback and running back. And, and and them boys, I ain't gonna lie, them boys put on the show, man. That they did, but them boys put on the show. I gotta give a big shout out to Homestead. They went up there, played at number sixteen in yeah. the state, handled their business. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta do. You gotta handle business, and Homestead actually did that. Palmetto blew out. I don't forgot who they even played, but they blew out what they had to do. I don't need Kelsey on me. But man, <laughs> so they definitely handled their business. So, you know, there's a lot of good football was played. You've seen some things. Some things got to change. Of course, everybody got to get better within Thursday, Saturday, whenever the game's played. And there's some big games coming up. You got Shamanad versus um, St. Francis. I think St. Francis lost their quarterback or something. You got, you got Bosco it. versus St. Thomas. That's going to be a good one. I'm definitely looking forward to looking at that one. You, yep, you got Weston which I heard a lot about this week, especially that receiver. Kobe, I want to say, I, I heard a lot about that team. Western, then you got, um, they play Middleton, Georgia. Um, who else? Harris play an out-of-town team. And Norland play, Norland will have a bigger test this week when they play. Play Lakeland, right? Lake. In Lakeland. In Lake. That's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to seeing that one as well. So you got a lot of good football coming up this week, definitely. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I'm, I'm really am. Like seriously, some good football, and, and it's gonna really separate who's for real and who's not. But you know, every team get better as week going on. So right now, you know, what we're gonna do we're gonna bring on St. Thomas. Um, we got Jordan Lyle in the building. We got Chance Robinson. We still waiting on Matt. I don't know where he at with his son. I don't know where Ryan at. Ryan, you can't be late to interviews, bro. You can't. <laughs> not at all. So, you know, we here with the portal or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, we finna get into the interview. 
with them, talk a little bit with them about what's going on or whatnot. And, you know, what their projections, what their, what their um, predictions is for the season. Mm-hmm. And see what, what's going on with their recruiting. Cool. Right, we back, man. Uh, we got Chaz Robinson. What's going on? We got Joy Lyle. What's going on with y'all fella today, man? Chilla. Chilla. Y'all, y'all know y'all got a big game coming up this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how y'all feel about that? I, I heard a lot. I heard a lot about old Bosco. So tell, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what's going on, man. Man, shit. Why so fun? Man. What you looking forward to most this weekend? I don't know, like. Really just trying to like embarrass somebody. I don't know. Oh, you ain't got no embarrass? Just that that that, that 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 anxiety and that 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 anxiousness, man, just trying to trying to get on that on that field. You know what I'm saying? Beginning of the year. Uh starting out. So I know you guys, you know, St. Thomas, man. Uh, good winning tradition. How is it playing for Coach Rogers? He go first. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm Come on, Joy, give me something, man. It's a great feeling to play for him, man. He's, you know, a really outstanding guy. You know, he teaches. Yeah. He teaches you, you know, not just football stuff, but you know, like life, you know, life techniques life and stuff lesson. like that. So, mm-hmm. you know, he just he's, he's a down to earth person. You know, you can only love him. You can't really hate him. Right. I see coaches. Uh, I watch uh, a good friend of mine is uh, Jamilio Lewis. Yeah. Um. So he posts a lot of videos, and man, just seeing. You know the coach is real active like that. But you got you know lifting and doing drills like that. That got to be uh, inspirational. Chance, what what what's what's your what's your view on Coach uh, Roger? Um, yeah, he, he a good dude. Um, you know what I'm saying he he gonna get on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's where he should. Saying, yeah, he gonna get on you, but he gonna he gonna really teach you all the stuff like the football. So I mean, one of the realest head coaches I ever had. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, I had some good ones, so yeah, I mean, he, he a good dude, uh, great to play for him. Yeah, so with this big game coming up, what you looking to do? That's what I want to know. What Chance Robinson looking to do? I mean, I don't, I don't never go out there with like, you know, like individual like stuff. Like, of course. I, mean, like, I, I really just be wanting to win the game. Like, mm-hmm. I'm saying, whatever it takes, right. you know what I'm saying, win the game. Like, that's, all I, that's all I be wanting to do, so. That's really it. That's what I want to do is win. That's it. Okay. What about you? I know you ready to run through some shit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy. Good. Hey, I know you ready to handle some business over there, man. <laughs> I heard, I asked question. I said, hey, what's up with Joy? He was like, yo, he legit. Like, yo, he, he that guy. What you looking to do this season? This season, I mean. I really just want to win states. That's what I'm looking forward to. You know, Y'all do team, that every year. I'm just looking forward to winning states. I want to have an undefeated season. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not gonna be easy. You know, we gonna have we gonna have to go through some adversity and stuff like that. You know, but um, as a team, I want to win. Um, personal goals. I mean, I just want to do my thing. You know, just take advantage of my opportunities. Thousand yards. What, 15, 20 touchdowns? I, I mean, I would like, I would like 1,500. But 15, I mean, that's doable. This, this, we got three running backs. You know, three. Oh, okay, gotcha. We got, I got two other running backs. You know, um, Stacy Gage and then Justin Montgomery. You know, those, the, the two of the seniors, they're great running backs too. So, you know, I just would like for all three of us, you know, have over a thousand. That would be something special. That definitely would be special in my opinion. Y'all hold on one second. We got Ryan Mac finally here. Y'all blame his daddy, don't blame him. You know, daddy drive real slow. <laughs> so what's going on with you, man? What's good? What's going on, Mac? What the deal is? What you looking forward to this year? Cause we asked a couple of questions you wasn't here to answer. So we want to know what you're looking forward this year. Uh, I'm looking forward to to winning states really and playing against some some good competition. Yeah. yeah. We need some pick six out of you though, man. Yeah, I do. Oh, no, we I need to score. see it out of you. No, I ain't scored last year. I need to do that this year though. <laughs> sure. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. So so with your daddy being the UM 
you know, legend, you going to UM, Chance going to UM, you know, how that feel? Uh, it feel great, knowing that, following in the footsteps of my parents, going to the, uh, I want better. It's a good feeling. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, you know, y'all got Bosco coming up this week. Yeah. Are you ready? That's what I want to know. Y'all, you ready? We all ready. Y'all all ready? Yeah. Okay. Do they have, does Bosco have any, like, uh, like, top dog wide receivers? Uh, top dog? I can't think of any. I'm pretty like a, sure. Like a guy you're looking forward to matching up with. Do they have a guy like that? Or they just, you know. Uh, all of the, all of the receivers are pretty new, like. They okay. was either young last year or gotcha. transferred in, so yeah, I don't really know them by name. Maybe just oh uh, yeah, you ready to handle the business then? Yeah. yeah. So talk talk with uh Mac. Uh, I was asking um Jordan and Chance earlier about uh playing for, for Coach Roger. Uh, how was it playing for him? Uh, it's 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 good. It felt like he prepared us for the next level a lot. You know, everything organized and structured. Run like a college program. Uh, it's it's a lot of getting used to at first, but once you're used to it, you know it's it's like second nature, really. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Man, I'm looking forward to all this big football this weekend. Broward don't literally took over basically. I don't know what's going on with Dade County. I really don't. So. Question, the Purple Machine. How was it being coached by Rob? <laughs> That's what I want. I went out to a practice like the last two weeks. I went out to a couple practice. And when they got back from Detroit, he had them people doing like 200 up and downs. So what it was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. You're going to take you through it. You got to go through it. When I, when I first got there, man, I, I thought he was crazy, man. Like, <laughs> so what was your first year with him? Twelve years. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, like, like when I first got there, we used to run the hills every Sunday. Like I was be like, like, what? Every Sunday? What are you talking about? <laughs> then like, man, it was crazy. Then we had a coach, uh, Coach Bushy, uh, rest in peace. We had him, yeah. and then before every like every practice, we used to up down like. Hundred up down every practice. Like I was Ooh. warm up. Like it wasn't even a trouble. Like we'll blow people out. We'll get out there. We'll do hundred up down. Like oh, that's just him. He just hard. Yeah, like just to thank you for that hard work, man. Yeah, but but do it. Do you see it now? Uh, that 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 what he instilled in you guys about you know making you do uh, hard workouts on Sundays when you're supposed to be resting. Um. You can see it transitioning to the next to the next level, which is high school. You guys, uh, you know, having success on this level. So, I know you probably at that time, you know, you're 12 years old. You like, like you say, man, this dude crazy, man. But as you get older, you know what I mean. You you realize uh, what coaches, um, you know, make you work hard so they can prepare you for the next level. Yeah, definitely. So, what about you, Ryan? How it is like I know your daddy had to be harder on you than anybody else. Like that's just that's just natural. That's just what happened. I mean, yeah, he was always real hard on me, but I kind of expected it because I know he uh I think he kicked my brother like off, <laughs> off the team when what? he played because my older brother. <laughs> he kicked him off the team. Yeah, cause I, I forgot what he did. His son, and he kicked him off. Like he told me, so I'm good. And then so I was really expecting it but you know before when i was like eight and nine he ain't coached me he coached uh the team above us so i was playing with different coaches and i would say it's still it still wasn't easy because it's still the same program but you know they wasn't as hard on me as my dad was really but i feel like it it really helped me you know, to change me into the person I am today. Like, it helped, helped me and all my teammates really build character and stuff like that. Okay. So, Jordan Lyle, question. Do you have a relationship with Brandon Enos or any of the, you know, the other guys? Uh, see, I mean, pass the mic to him. <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't really say, like, I got, like, a 
relationship, like an everyday talk to him type thing. Right. But um, nah, if I see him or whatever, like you know, we get to chopping it up and stuff mm-hmm. like that. We cool and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Um, I played, I played under Brandon Ennis at uh, PPO, okay. so you know, he was always there, and you know, you just just see him at the park, you know, just talk to him. Um, you feel me? So I used to see all those guys and stuff like that. And they're pretty cool people. Well, you know, you got JJ going on Ohio State with you. Yeah. How y'all relationship? Um, I don't really talk to JJ that much, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, we never played on the same team, but uh, he a cool person, though. He a real good dude, you know. He seemed like he down to earth. He real quiet to me. I mean, I heard that, you know, he talks to his friends a lot and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, I don't I don't really talk to him, let alone see him that much. So, right. um, you know, he a real cool person, though. That's definitely one game I like to see. Chaminade versus St. Thomas. But it's not going to happen because I ain't going to even talk about it. But I, that, that's one game I like to see, man. So, yeah. Any questions there? Yeah, what other, what other national games you guys got? Uh, it's just uh, national as an ESPN. Um, it's our, our only game is St. John Bosco, but... We got, you know, the you know, the, the usual Western hype and you know, they, <laughs> I like that. They, he they, said the Western the, hype. The, you know, the usual Western hype and you know And the homestead hype. Yeah, but I don't, I don't I don't know, you know, I just I just believe in our technique and our game, you know. We right. just go out there, we handle our business, feel me? Um we not gonna talk that much. Right, right. You know, right. they can do all the talking they want, you know. Four side this, five side that, and this guy's good, that guy's good. No, we don't really, we're not really too much of you know social media guys. We just go out there and play football, play ball, and I feel like that's how it should be. You know, it shouldn't be no you know talking, shouldn't be talking about your game. Just you know show it. Dade County, we talking to Dade County. We we like that. That's that's yeah. what we like to do. Yeah. And then once it once it backfired, then it's like oh shit, I need to be quiet. It'd be too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, talking a little trash in the game. I do that, you know. I talk right. trash in the game and stuff like that. But I'm not going to be, you know, talking on the internet and stuff like that. That's not even me. Oh, good. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, a lot of that stuff take on personality. But, hey, fellas, good talk, man. Good talk, man. Appreciate y'all boys coming, man. And, and good luck on you guys' season. Uh, most importantly, stay healthy. You know what I mean? I know uh, football is a physical sport. And a lot of that stuff be out of y'all control. But... Uh, just try to stay healthy for the most part, man. And play hard and play smart, baby. That's it, baby. Thank y'all, fellas. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Sure. We back, man. Uh, we got Shamada, Shamana, Madonna in here, man, with the four-headed monster, man. Hey, hey, why y'all do us like that, yo, last night, man? Why y'all do us like that, man? I'm a yeah. northwestern. I'm a northwestern guy, man. <clears throat> why y'all? Why y'all? Why y'all boys just do us like that, man? Talk to me, JJ. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, so it's a part of it. It's been non personal, huh? Yeah. I feel you, I feel you. So we'll jump into this thing, man. Um <clears throat> wanna introduce you guys, man. We got Jojo five star wide receiver on the end. Uh JJ five star receiver, CJ four star quarterback, and we got a uh, bullet, four star running back. Uh just holler at y'all boys real quick, man. Y'all boys high powered. I can't even lie, man. Y'all, y'all boys are real deal. I gotta give y'all props. I'm um, sitting up there watching that game last night. Y'all boys like that. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but <laughs> y'all boys the real deal. Um, CJ, how how is it throwing to these two guys, man? I mean, you got two to me, to me, my opinion, the best wide receiver duo in America to me. Yeah, to me, so. How is it just simply throwing to both of these guys? Um, it's, it's, you really, it. it's really fun and easy right. um, when you have that connection <laughs> with, with those guys, the yeah. best receivers in the country. Um, it's, a, it's a nightmare for those DBs and right. everybody else on the other team when, when they see lining up against uh, those two receivers. So it's, it, it takes a lot of pressure off the offense when you got those guys on the uh, offense, getting the ball and stuff. True, true, true. So, JJ, 
that boy, man. They say they, they say you that boy, you and JoJo that boy, man. I'm a wide receiver myself. I played wide receiver back in my day. So when you break those, when you break that huddle, you know you jog out there and line up. What's 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 going through your head? My head just get open. That's it. Cause I know CJ he go find me. So. Gotcha. Yeah, that's all. Route tree one through nine. What's your best route? All of them. Oh, my best. Yeah. <laughs> what what's one route you would say for the money? I'm gonna run this. I know I'm gonna get open. Oh, <laughs> they put it up there, huh? Yeah, you gotta get it, huh? Of course. Oh, uh, by the way, man, that was a um, nice, nice fade route, real smooth. Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, back shoulder. Mm-hmm. It took y'all a minute, but y'all <laughs> got it. They finna throw it. <laughs> yeah, they I said he just waiting on a perfect time. Throw. <laughs> so, Jojo, what is it like playing alongside a guy like JJ? Take off all the pressure, really. Right. You know. Get that no, attention off you, huh? So yeah. You get the one on one. No, I got somebody just like me down on the side of the spill of me. So, really, uh, probably one of the best feelings, you feel me? Yeah. And people don't realize how much they get doubled. Yeah. Like, they they do. They, lot, they, y'all so. don't see that all but year. You can't just double team. You can't one. double it. Not you can't yeah, double it. Right. Like, Correct. Mm-hmm. And guess who it make it easy for? The young yeah. man over there. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 and that's where we. And that's where we coming. So yeah. bullet. And when he <laughs> pounding, it take pressure off. Like everybody else, so we kind of now they gotta start the box. So now we can throw more passes. So everybody, so, so. everything yeah, everybody, open up. Everybody, every, yeah. Yeah, everything, so, everything works. So bullet, you got these 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 high power dudes, man. That box be thin. You gonna face pretty much a forty two box all year because they trying to. Uh, they gotta get a guy out of them. Cause they gotta have a, a extra safety over the top of these two dudes. How do you benefit from these two dudes? Um, I benefit a lot because most team when they come into the game, they thinking pass first. Correct. So it made the run game easier. Gotcha, gotcha. I know when I uh, did my little analyst, I said if I was coming, to, if I was a DC coming in, coming to play Shamanah, my goal would be to try to stop these two. So that's that's where the run game uh, kick in. You I, you gonna have a great season, man, because just you know what I'm saying that box so thin, and you gonna get a lot of opportunity, man. So definitely take advantage of those. Um, next question. I mean, any one of you guys can jump in on this. How was it playing for Coach Row? <laughs> one of the funniest. You know, he like to take risks. He a risk taker. Right. I can say that. Mm-hmm. He don't care about how you really feel. He's gonna do what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 we pretty much know that. He definitely a risk taker, man. Um, just just looking at him coaching over the years, I know one thing he like to do. He like trick plays. He gonna he gonna cause some bombs. He gonna cause some halfback passes. He gonna, he gonna cause some everything. So uh, definitely give uh, props to Roe, man, uh, putting this thing together. <clears throat> Um, for you guys and, and got the offense going in the, di- in the right direction. A um, little bit, we we'll, we'll get a little bit to college. What you looking forward to college, uh, JJ? Yeah. Really just, I mean, you know, getting up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mid-year guy, January. Uh, getting okay. up there, learning the playbook, uh, getting in the weight room. That's really it. So you locked in. You ain't oh, yeah. thinking about nothing else. Yeah. You just from Ohio State. Yeah. That's what it is. Y'all can stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> I know um, Brandon Ennis is up there already. Uh, are you looking forward to like you know getting with him and and, and learning? Yeah, from learning. Him? Yeah, right. learn, yeah, all the guys up there learning from them. I mean, learn really. That's the big thing. When you go up there, call you gotta learn that playbook. That's one thing everybody tell me. You gotta get in that playbook. So you're a freshman. Mm-hmm. You really behind a little bit. I mean, all the shoes that they know everything. You for incoming freshman, so you gotta right. you gotta get on, on the all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Have y'all, have y'all guys ever thought about playing together on the next level? It came across. We thought about it before. And what if y'all was to do that, what team would y'all do it with? Did, <laughs> oh, C- CJ, did, did, did Ohio State recruit you? <laughs> no? Okay. So what school would y'all do that with? Like, y'all say, okay, we, you know what, let's it's been a game plan. Let's do it now. <laughs> Answer this question that Lee don't know. He got- <laughs> <laughs> So we know, so we know who the leader in this conversation is. Who oh, oh, I want? Oh, <laughs> hey, so we know who the buddy, leader is. So I, hey, I just say I plead the. No, plead he the can't plead man. the bill. Oh, this man, the man, boy. Man, he gotta answer listen, that. Man, he might get jammed listen, up. Listen, no, this is a conversation. 
He just say he stuck with Ohio State. He, he in love. He, he don't kiss no. He don't get all that. He locked in. That's so right. what one team, if y'all had to go to and play for, would it be Bullet? Because they gave you the mic for a reason. You keep bringing up this conversation to everybody, I guess. I don't know why you get it. <laughs> <laughs> you, keep, you don't board it up? Like, hey, when the, up. hey, when the quarterback say, here you go, that be you the man. Yeah. Uh, I ain't bringing that on. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all know, I was kind of sick, right? And I used to work out in the morning. I used to work out with him. Y'all know I used to live more than him? That guy over there. Yeah, more push-ups. Boy, I, I need to push him. <laughs> so y'all think it's a game? Yeah. What he was ten at the time? No, that boy was what? In a tenth grade. Tenth grade. I, I used to outwork that boy. Y'all work him now? Nah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so JJ, for, for JoJo, for you, what it felt like going to Central, the last four or five games of the season, and literally exploding? What that felt like for you? I watch you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be real. My first game, I was nervous. But after the first game, it was a wrap. Set it out. How it felt? I got more comfortable. It yeah. felt good, you know. American Heritage, 10th grade year. <laughs> you coming in in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> that boy went crazy. You, 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 you go crazy. What was the chatter like? Uh, oh, how time we was down. Yes. So we going back on the field. So that's when I caught the curl. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Caught the curl, we scored. Then we got back on offense. Went to back school. Tied up now. We got back on offense again. I, I, stop right there. I'm <laughs> sitting in the stands and I look. I said, oh, yeah, he's going up top right now. <laughs> right now. I'm looking. I say, yeah, he's going to go up top. What happened after that? Well, it was a run play, actually, and then I think one of the coaches checked it. Somebody checked it. He saw me one on one back side with the corner. He was dead on on arrival. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't mean to play. Yeah. So, with you. They over at pace. Y'all two already at Shamanar doing y'all thing. When you get the call mid season, JJ coming. What that feel like? We called him. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So you called him on the phone like homemade. Yeah, right. What the deal is? We tried to get him. Right. Oh, and it was kind of like he he was really afraid. I think his dad was really afraid of like what what the quarterback play was over there and like Oh, cause you wasn't starting no, 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 right away. Like, <laughs> no, because like we was a running team at first. Uh -huh. he, wasn't, he wasn't oh, he wasn't goodness. liking that we was running the ball a lot. Bullet, well, Bullet had like nine hundred yards yeah. freshman year. Yeah. He had a we lot of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had Popo, so he was running the ball a lot. So he wasn't really Bullet. his dad wasn't really trusting that. So we had the song that we could pass the ball. Oh, so yeah. doing that sophomore year. No, it was Sophomore, sophomore year. year, and then uh -huh. at the end of that sophomore year, he had like near the end of the game, he had transferred. Uh, he came to us doing color again. Then, eleventh uh, grade year coming in, I good. get the phone call. It's six in the morning. This rope, bro, say, got him. I said, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I get the call. It's six in the morning. I'm out of town. He say, he got him. I said, what you mean? You got him. Jojo coming. I said, what? <laughs> he said, yes. He's coming. I say, Jojo and JJ and Bullet and CJ? He said, yes. When well, y'all got that call, what you did? You smiling already. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all boys already like, yo, yes. come on, come we'll on, come on. We're supposed to go to summer now. Since literally, uh huh, you know, son happened, so we split off and then we just got back together. In the perfect situation, and look perfect, at everybody. Perfect situation. Now, what it was like playing for Coach Rod Matt? Oh, it was I, great. We were playing with Coach Rod Matt. You the first one to say that. Yeah, he taught us a lot. Yes. He taught me a lot. If he didn't teach y'all a lot, he taught me a lot. Um, they said they worked. They said they worked. Yeah, we. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> More than the average uh, yeah. little league team. But look how it has literally transformed y'all and how it got y'all to the next level and y'all was already prepared coming in. And so, now y'all back together. 
So next week, y'all got St. Francis, right? Yeah. They lost to a uh, Buford. Well, what y'all, y'all gonna, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I think y'all gonna blow them people out. I, I'm just keep it real with you, man, with the, with the offense y'all got. And I got to keep it real with y'all, but I underestimated y'all defense. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Everybody, I underestimated tell y'all defense. I ain't gonna even lie to you, but y'all, y'all look good um, last night, man, in all three phases of the game. And I'm definitely, definitely, definitely looking forward to you guys playing um, St. Francis next week, national game on ESPN, man. Y'all boys do y'all thing. Y'all, y'all go out there, got, man, and do y'all thing. I got one question. Week five. Mm. <laughs> is it is it circled on the calendar or is it just another game? Another, another game. game. No, nah, look at JoJo yeah, face yeah, over yeah. there. JoJo got something to say about I that. Think JoJo, I don't got nothing to say, but I think JoJo got to circle the rest of the boy. Like, who, the, who like what game y'all looking forward to playing this year? St. Francis. That's the number one. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's good. Cause they ranked the bug, they ranked ahead of y'all, right? Yeah. Okay, so that give y'all a chance to, to, to jump. So the goal, me personally, I think um, with with South Florida football winning so many state titles, and I think we got the best talent, skill wise. I think we got the best talent in the country. I think we need more national titles. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. And, Our team's and, not respected. And you guys, uh, you guys got that chance this year. You know what I mean? A lot of things have got to happen. A couple of losses because they got you guys, what, six or seven? Ranking. Rank. Y'all 10? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how, but. Huh? Number 10. Y'all number 10? Mm-hmm. So a few things got to happen, man. Just, I mean, that's out of y'all control, but as long as y'all handle y'all business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's all you can ask for, man. And um, I think, just me personally, we need more national titles down here. You know what I mean? State, to me, state get boring. Eh? Like, you, like, you win them so many times. It's like shit, man. We 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 the, the talent we got down here. We got to get on the national stage. You know what I mean? So it's good that um, you know ESPN coming down here to to um, um, for the game with you know St. Thomas and you guys and shit. We, we we appreciate all that South Florida, man. We need that exposure, but we definitely need some national titles down here, man. If you guys can go get it, man, go get it. Go get it. For sure. Yeah, sure. man. Great conversation. I appreciate y'all boys. I know y'all get appreciate tired of me tagging y'all, y'all on shit, social man. media, but yeah. y'all that's boys gonna stay happen. healthy, man. Y'all ball, man. <laughs> play hard and play smart, baby. All right, baby. Appreciate y'all for coming through. So today we finish it off with Big Boy Talk. You got the city hater, Raw <laughs> Mac. <laughs> Why you say I hate the city, man? Why would you say? <laughs> Every time I talk to you, it be like, hate you, city. You know, whatever that is. I that. say that. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> I don't know why you got such a grudge versus a. One thing you do say when the West winning, the world is better. Yeah, everybody know that. Y'all believe it. Don't nobody support like the West. Nobody. So that's why I need the West to be good, so I can have somebody to go against. So why you don't send the the, 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 the Ravens to us? How you how you allow them to go everywhere else but to Northwestern? I'm just saying. You got the whole y'all. You know how many Ravens on that team? I mean, now. Look how many Ravens. You y'all ain't got. sent us none. We both had everybody that been in here today. That's rough. That I ain't nothing to do with that. That's rough. That's the boy killer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I talked to Max, but y'all want y'all want to go another direction. I agree. Yeah. I was a part of that conversation. I know the whole story. We ain't even got to talk about that no more. Uh-huh. We only want to. I only want to talk about that. You supposed to been our OC what two years ago? Not last year. No, the year last year. Uh, it's two years ago. What's wrong? I don't know, man. If y'all had the Pope, if you would have came and got the Pope. You would have had him. Yeah, we would have had him. Yeah. But we here today. We want to talk some football. What's going on? So, bro, why you do us like that yesterday, bro? I mean, uh, I don't really comment or post a lot, but yeah. I read. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> You was going hard, coach. You, Me? you was, yeah, you was killing us. Oh, deep, bro. I mean, I ain't gonna, I'm keeping you, real you with you, bro. I, I ain't, I, 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 I y'all, underestimated y'all. y'all defense, bro. I ain't think y'all defense was that good. Yeah. I thought, but I thought your O line was was subpar, but y'all, y'all showed us, bro. Y'all mm-hmm. look good. Y'all I mean, look for good. the most part, if I even if our defense ain't that good, you practice against them guys, man, every day you can't do nothing but get better. True, you know what I'm saying. True, and. and Looks like everybody else. We got a lot of things to work on. We ain't a finished product, but mm-hmm. for the most part, we trending in the right direction. 
Definitely that. Y'all look good, man, for appreciate the first game. It. Y'all look good. On both, on all three phases. I got to give you that. I appreciate it. Mag Attack. What's good, bro? I know last time, man, we was talking on um, what I went live like, probably like a month ago when you were trying to get in on the reps over range deal. Yeah. Let's elaborate on it a little bit. What you prefer? Man, I believe in, um, I, I see things different. I think kids benefit from being around other talented kids. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe that. I, I think that parents have to be realistic on where their child fall in that, you know, on that hierarchy. Mm-hmm. And some kids, you know, some kids um, shouldn't be in those situations. But, hell, I watch you play. Y'all had a talented team, mm-hmm. and y'all benefited from it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think that the kids, I, the reason why you see all these kids they keep talking about now is because those kids been going against each other since they was nine years old. You know what I mean? So when you get up every day, and um, my son, Fizz, he had to, he's been covering Jeremiah and JJ them since he's been nine. Right. I don't care who you bring in the country, line them up. I can speak confidently because I watch what he did against them and vice versa. Um, those kids. So I'm all for uh, development and, and and putting kids in, in competitive situations. Um, when you were speaking the other day, what frustrated me so much, man, is I saw so many people who claim to know football telling kids not to play JV football or down in JV football. And that's like, I think that's bad for football in South Florida on a, on a number of uh, Situations. People talk about how much uh, high school football is not good, it's not coaching and everything, and I think a lot of it got to do with that we're not allowing coaches the opportunity to develop these kids and put them in a system where they can be developed. It's I talk football, I know how much football he know. I talk to some of these defensive coordinators, but when you want to take a bunch of 13-year-olds and put them right on varsity, how are you going to run a bunch of complicated coverages? How are you going to do that from – like, how are you going to do that? They need time to, to groom them and grow. Yeah. And um, parents, a lot of times, we worrying about playing varsity as a freshman. The goal is to get a scholarship yes. as a senior. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, and and all film. And Tony said this. We debated it when I said it. All film. He said all film is the best. Now I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that. I think that you can. We can put a product on football field that shows. Um, when you're young, that can show a lack of uh, fundamentals, a lack of technique. You can show a lot of things that, that shouldn't be highlighted yet. Right, right. You know, just like everything else, you can check your time and develop. We all know there's, there's a kid, there, there are kids who don't fit that mode. I mean, you played with Nate, and mm-hmm. it was a grown ass man from the time he <laughs> got there. From the jump, he couldn't um, even play out. Yeah, he was a grown man. <laughs> he was that big. He played JV and then went straight to varsity. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he was a grown man. You bullet. Like yeah. Yeah. grown man, so it's kids who can go right in and fit from a physical standpoint. But you take the Jeremiah Smith that you see now; he want, that's not the same kid yeah. that was that yeah. was Four fourteen. Right. He he grew five inches, put on thirty pounds. You know yeah. what I mean? He came out early, hurt his shoulder, hurt himself on varsity early because it's not the same body. But you take he wasn't. If you go back to rankings, they had so many kids rated ahead of him. At that time, and if 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 his dad, his parents would have totally went off of a damn ninth grade year, we wouldn't be talking about the number one player in the country. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Development. That's all I'm saying. Right. Agree with that. Agree with that. And I think it's a lot of lack of development. And then with these parents, they take these kids and they want them to play varsity right away when that's not the best thing. Yeah. Some of them you still too small. True. You still ain't developed mentally for this. I seen it yesterday. So I seen it. At, I seen it at the game. I yeah. saw, um, like, it was a play with 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 Nick, who we all know gonna be special. Nick, right. we've been seeing it since he was running around Ravens Park with no shoes on, little kid. He's going. He's the next to go, right? But one play, he hit CJ. Yeah. Oh, he yeah, came up CJ and hit CJ. Out. Gave all he had because Nick a pit bull. Yeah. He ain't gonna back down. I saw him coming off the football field. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he had a dude that's 6'5". Yeah. <laughs> right. pounds, bro. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it just ain't, the body just ain't developed. You know what I mean? But like you say, shorty got hard. You know what I mean? Pull up, pull up like that. So, Ro. What's going on? 
you 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 got them gangsters, man. Yeah, um, I know you. I'm an OC like you, man. Mm-hmm. And do you have a hard time like drawing up plays, trying to get these dudes the ball? Nah, not at all. But the biggest thing is them guys have a real tight knit relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So nobody really crabbing or crying over the ball. the ball. Right. So we just call the play and tell CJ to get the ball to the open man. Right. That's a good thing we preach. You know, don't be a hero. Just make the play that's there to be made. So whoever out there, mm-hmm. if they out there, we trust them. Get the ball to them. Gotcha. That go for everybody. Everybody looking towards Central game. I know we fast forward a little bit. It's a ways out. It's a ways out. You know, one game at a time. But um, just looking at it, just looking at the Central game, what you thinking? I mean, I ain't really get the chance to see him this season. Right. But I know Coach Juve do a hell of a job getting his guys prepared. They'll be well coached. Mm-hmm. Coach AJ run a hell of an offense, been doing it for years. Must props to those guys. But I love my kids, and I trust what we can do. I believe we'll come out victorious. It shouldn't be a problem. Y'all look good, man. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, y'all look like shit past me at season four. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that look sharp. You don't think so? No, nah, not really. I mean, like I said, we got a lot of things to fix, but to the naked eye, it may look that way. You know what I'm saying? Right, so you we, watch we, the film, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things we missing here and there. But we had a lot of guys return mm-hmm. on offense. A lot of guys returned. We lost three key offensive of linemen. Mm-hmm. We lost two guys at the receiver spot, but we filled those spots in. You know, receivers in the line is a working product, you know, working in progress, rather. So. We, we pretty much will be fine. We got things to fix, but we, we trying to get there. Big game this week, man. Y'all got St. Francis, um, ESPN. I'm, I'm looking forward to that game, man. Um, going into that game, national game. Hmm. Have you watched you watched film on St. Francis yet? Yeah, What's your take on it? We've been watching for a while. Uh, big, physical. Mm-hmm. But I believe our team speed and the, at the pace we try to play offense. Yeah. It'll help us out a lot. A lot of people say our line is not that good or they ain't that polished. We don't ask them to be. We ask those, we don't want big, big, girthy guys because we're trying to move. Got so I, we don't we don't look for the biggest linemen. We look for the guys that's nice size and able to run. Yeah, athlete, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We want all our linemen to have ankles. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want to straight, nah, straight down. No, we don't want to straight down. We want to like the diabetes ankles. Yeah, so <laughs> when you look at them, like, oh, they line ain't that. They line, they there to do a job. Yeah, I got it. Line up, get on the ball, keep your body on the body. Right. And let Bullet do the rest. Because the box don't be that thick. You know, everybody. Right, you know it's going to be thin. You got to respect right. the outside. So it's true. True. I it's definitely. all part of it. So with coaching these kids, do that make your job easy? Very easy. Like, pretty much it's on autopilot. I don't <laughs> Like, I know Rod say, uh, purple machine. Oh, they, it's pretty much a machine now. Cause what do you see? Like, a lot, a lot of it be at certain points of the game, you know. Just get out the way and let him go. It'd be like a third and two, like happened yesterday. You call a play bullet, like, no, D and two out, run this one. Call it. Call it. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you, you call the play on. and shorty make a play and on JJ and they do the muscle and the seat belt thing. And you call the play, <laughs> JJ, JJ say, no, throw me the ball right now. Right. Throw I got to get right, him back. Throw the ball right now. So, <laughs> so <laughs> and they say, bro, good call. There ain't no good call. They just trust him. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust the kids in front of you. Exactly. And, they, and they also do a, a hell of a job of coaching the guys up behind them. Mm-hmm. Like, when, if you watched, when we took CJ out, he, he, he energetic up and down the sideline. He coaching up the next quarterback behind him. You know, get him right. Because we look forward to him making plays moving forward. Same thing with Bullet. Bullet, you score, you got enough yards, get out the way. Get all one right. Yeah, so, I Bullet, know. he coaching them up. Man, you missed that block. You got to do some different things. Those guys, man, they pretty much got a feel of the game. If you could teach it, I know you know it. So, I go out to practice one day to Shaman I'm looking for a row. He already on the track ready to meet me, right? <laughs> practice going on. We go sit up under the tent. We chilling. I hear another coach say, Coach, what we going to do? Yeah, run that. I'm like, this for practice light over here? Yeah, I already got it, <laughs> yeah. Coach. Hey, I'm they like, rolling. yo, is this really what practice like over here? I'm talking about we over there talking, drinking water, chilling. Yeah, but like I said, and he running practice from under the tent. Yeah, when you, when, the, when even when you switch, the starters gonna teach the guys behind him. Now, you benefit from what I see him go through. I go to his practice, it ain't nothing like your practice. His <laughs> practice totally different. 
He out there screaming. He out there yelling. And he getting them kids prepared for the next level. So now, when he's done with them, you get the benefits because they come yeah. ready. Yeah, but just like he told you, we had two different points. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So he, at the point he at, you got to do that. I've got been there before. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So where I'm at with it now is, I ain't really got to do that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a firm believer in, you know what I'm saying, everything is what it is. Like, what they do on that level ain't going to work here. Not at all. What we do here ain't going to work when they get to the next level. Not at all. So, I just try to focus on what help us be successful right now in this moment, and we focus on that. Doing a great job, man. I got to give it to you. Definitely doing a good job, boy. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Mac, how many nights you go home with a clip, boys? Because you do a lot of yelling. Rare. You hear my voice now? (laughs) But it's it's preparing them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything I'm doing is really just trying to prepare them for those levels. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when they get there, I'm not, like you say, what we do here, on the youth level, that's all we should be doing. Like right. winning games, that is what it is. But I'm really trying to prepare the kids so when Ro get them or whatever school they go to, they ready. You know what I mean? And, and I and I, I got to coach them hard so whatever environment they in, they can adapt to it. They're not going to say it was too much. They're not going to say practice was too hard. Because we like, I'm be on some money. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't want y'all to think like we really like each other for real. Hey, everything out of face, basically. He, he called my phone. What bum? I'm like, dang, Rod, we we bum. That's how, that's how he, bum. Every time you see me, I'm a bum. But and this this may sound a little harsh or sound a little bad, but it's the truth. Like guys like Rod do a hell of a job for the high school. And as a whole, Central, mm-hmm. Chaminade, Northwestern. So when those guys leave the politics of programs like the Raven, the kids be ready to play. So you don't have to do a lot of teaching. And in certain places, mm-hmm. in certain teams, at certain times, you don't have time to teach how mm-hmm. to play football. Like if you come into Chaminade at this moment, this season, you better be I can't teach you how to play football because these guys are ready to go. Right. So I, I got to try to keep the train rolling. I ain't got time to try to Man, teach. say what you said again. That's what I'm trying to talk about sometimes <laughs> when they need JV yeah. programs. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, right. Yeah. Just, just yeah. trying to rush them to Boston. Yeah. You, you ain't got time yeah, for that yeah, right now. Yeah, I don't, yeah. And then they, I, don't, I don't know how to teach. I can teach it. I, I, could, I could do all but that. But we rolling. We rolling right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of programs in the country. So you need JV programs to teach. Yeah, that's, that's what true. it's about. It ain't about, oh, you ain't good enough. You could no. You got to go to the JV. They're going to teach you how to play on this level. Right. When you, you can't just come up here and think you're going to play. We right. had a lot of guys check out. They want to be in the JJ spot. I can't put you there. Want me to take JJ out and put you in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll take JoJo out and put you in. <laughs> no, you're getting the call yeah, from me. That's not happening, yeah, they, they, they go that way. You know what I'm saying? Those guys aren't the right. For, they'll have that time out there on that field, and I can't steal it from them for an underclassman. You got to wait your turn. That's it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and, a lot you of people, can't, and you can't realize that that's that player. You got a problem. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of them people be on that, that instant gratification. So, they'll, they'll take them from, you know, yeah. A, a, a situation that's competitive just to see my son on varsity and we getting these reps. Like me and Matt, uh, Matt we was talking, while well, I was talking on the live, all those quality reps. Because you can just be out there, you can play 60 snaps. How many are those quality reps? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the hypocrisy of it is you as a parent, now you sitting in the stand Saying, man, we getting the, the our, key, our teeth kicked, man. No, don't cry now. Nah. You ain't worrying about winning. <laughs> you want the you rep. just want repetition. repetition. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? So take the reps, get your teeth kicked in, and sit your ass down. Don't say nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's the hypocrisy of it, man. But like uh, Rob Mack was saying earlier, being around other talented kids, bro, just makes you wanna work harder. Games, makes you want to be better. You know what I mean? I can guarantee you the guys that's uh, behind the JJ yeah. and the I- JoJo, they soaking that shit in like, what? Yeah. if I can be some of him and I can take some of his game and take some of his game and put it in my game, I can be that guy. You see what I'm saying? So it has its benefits, man. Just me, I'm just a winner at heart, bro. That's just me. So all that trying to go to a less school and mm-mm, that ain't me. So we, we got a, cat, a kid on our team right now, Kyle Washington. Yes, Prime yes, example yes, of that. He ain't start. No, number three, this year. Number three, yeah, 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 yeah. He he didn't start a game for us last year. Mm-hmm. The only person on the team scored more touchdowns than Kyle is JJ. JJ had twenty touchdowns. Kyle had fourteen. Sheesh. He didn't start a game. Damn. He, but he, like you say, sit back, soak it up, learn, steal some of this from JoJo, steal right. some of this from JJ, add it into your game. 
Okay, we he didn't start yesterday. Let's go to touchdown. He number three for us. Three, yeah, he nice. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve last season. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't start, mm -hmm. but he stayed with it. He stayed up. And when you get in the game, you know what I'm saying? Just because you don't start don't mean you don't have a role. A lot of kids don't understand that. That's Everybody, true, I want to start the game. I want to start the game. Right. Kyle, finish games yeah. for us. You don't start them. I got a trick. Finish. I can start you. Yeah. <laughs> right, right that guy, yeah. I say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> start this one play and come back out and then sit on the bench. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they so, be so caught up on stars, but like you say, man, shit. You know, you come in, you you, you do your thing. You, once it. you get in there, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I, I look at it like this too, man. Like, so we as a parents or adult, we can kind of trick the system a little bit. Let's say you send your son to like a lesser school. He go there, he the man. Let's say if you're fortunate enough to trick his way to Alabama, Right. Where he never had to compete, never had any of that. Mm -hmm. How long you think he gonna stay at Alabama? Right, cause he's going next level with it. Exactly, he ain't ready. He coming home. Mm -hmm. He ain't never had to compete. He don't even know what it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you gotta keep in mind when you go to a lesser school, the coaching staff don't know what it is to play at this level. So it's gonna That's be hard. Too. It's gonna be hard for them to teach you right. how right. to get them. Get your game to where it need to be. Mm -hmm. They ain't thinking about that part. They just, you're going to get on the field. But yeah. Like you said, the, the teacher might not be there all the time, too, at them programs as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So me personally, if I my, if I took my son somewhere, I'm going to take him to a good school where they're going to coach it up. You know what I mean? A lot you of people don't. to the Ravens, right? I wouldn't mind him playing for the Ravens. I wouldn't mind him playing for the Ravens. I'm going to see how long you'll be on the park. I don't know if you're going to. My, my boy is small. Time out, time time out, time out. Let's get to that. How long are you going to be on the ball? <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't leave the ball. Hold on, hold on. Time out. I don't know how long Matt going to be out there, man. answer this question. I called him one day. I said, yo. Uh, yeah, this is what I heard. He was like, yo, where you getting this information from? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be there till I'm not there, man. <laughs> good answer. Good good answer. Even the politics good I got in here with me right now, good right? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta have a political answer. <laughs> Shit, you know, hey, you know what I mean? And you picked up the like, how, how you know that? Who, who you talking to? <laughs> so yeah, you were speaking about recruiting the other day. Mm -hmm. You made a post. What is it that they don't know that they need? About recruiting, I, I just feel like parents, well, you know, I've went through the situation, Lev, we've been through that, you right. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, I see it, I, I know, I see so many complaints. Every time rankings come out, you get a list of parents, oh, my son should be ranked this and my child should be ranked that. Instead of focusing on when my child get to college, is he gonna be, right? is he gonna be ready to play? Because yeah. four stars, five stars in the portal right now because they ain't ready to play. Four stars, five stars, never getting a chance to play because they ain't ready to play. But you chasing the ranking, that's not important. Right. Preparing for when, when, it's, when it's time to play football and don't get caught up in recruiting because that's not real. That's not real. You know what I mean? That's they that call the coaches, man. I'm telling you, in the Mac household, like my son already know, bro. We ain't drinking that Kool Aid because if I'm if you done. get that man is doing a job, and if you get caught up thinking that's your homeboy, or that's your right. buddy, your ass gonna come home because when you get there, he ain't gonna know you. Nah, you hey, what's going? On? It ain't gonna be all this buddy buddy and ask you how you girl. Mm -hmm. nah, it don't work like that. They trying to win games. Dang, exactly. So if you, as a child and as a parent, you get caught up in thinking Coach Johnny, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like this is your main My man. He is, mm -hmm. he is not. He got a job to do, and they gonna tell you that he making a lot of money to get wins and get the job yeah. done, and so that's what he gonna do. And I see a lot of us a lot of times in South Florida, a lot of us, man, like we get so caught up in the wrong shit just because we want to be able to post. My yeah. son ranked this, and my son ranked that, and my son a two star, three star, four star. Man, that don't matter, man. Social like, media has to yeah, it, it, I'm telling you, it don't matter. Social media has literally took over all levels. <laughs> until like until, until the reality hit you that that's not what it is. It's right? not real. It's and not. When you get hit. Some people take it hard. Yeah. You know speaking, what I'm saying? Speaking, and that's the crazy part. And speaking about getting hit, this is totally off topic. But, but since I'm on the platform, I chose to use this time. <laughs> to go ahead. This. Cut his mic off. Like, Cut his mic off. Like, <laughs> like, 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 every program, every high school program, gonna lose kids. Yeah, oh yeah, that's part of the game. That's part so of a lot of people do a lot of crying, and they ain't got to see nobody's name. They everybody know who it is. Right. Kids leave every day. Yeah. Every day from every program, we lose kids all the time. They leave, go to Central, leave and go to 
heritage. They leave and go everywhere. And the first thing we tell them is, wish you the best. God bless. That's, That's it. Be That's all you it. can do. That's it. Be done mm-hmm. with it. It's just a, lot of, a lot of people like the crowd with spilled milk. Yes. Man, when the kid is gone, the kid is gone. Like, let it go. I get calls all the time. Just let it go. Let hey, it yo, go. I'm coming to this school. I said, okay. Keep going. <laughs> Coach, oh, that mother don't. What you want me to do? You told me help me. Just let them go, man. You got to let them go. You pick a school. <laughs> That's it. Let them go. Because, and then, what I, like I say, I said this last week. I hate when a parent say, it's, my kid made that decision. Oh, no. Kids don't make no decisions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's that 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 irks me because, like I say, I I I, I think with when they say that, I got no children try to look into it deeper. So when they say that, I think they have a conversation with their son, and whatever the conversation is, you know, they might say, "Man, Daddy, I feel like I need to be over here." But I'm I'm that I'm that daddy. I'm looking at the situation. I ain't putting that shit in your hand. But you got some you got some parents that listen to their child. And then they make a decision. Sometimes it work out, sometimes it don't. And it is what it is. But I'm not I'm not leaving that situation in my son because I got the experience. I know better. You know what I mean? I'm looking at this shit. I'm evaluating. Now granted, everybody don't have the experience I got. You know, playing the game, coaching the game, knowing how everything goes. They ain't got that. So that's an advantage. You got Mac, bro, you've been around the game. We got that advantage. Everybody ain't got that advantage. But like you said, I'm not. I'm still not uh, letting my, my son uh, uh, make a decision like that. No, that ain't happening. When they say uh, my son made a decision, they just saying me and my child agreed with what we're doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard a story yesterday. The guy say, a kid called him, wanted to transfer just to get attention, huh? just to get a flight, that just to get it. a post, that's saying he transferred to a school just to get recruited. That's what, so that what the game then came to. Yeah, they, they, they love that flight. Yeah, they love it. They had another situation happen a couple weeks ago. Coach called me on a Monday morning. Oh, man, the kid went elsewhere. I said, huh? He said, yeah. I said, I thought he was going to you. He said, no, he went elsewhere, right? Mm-hmm. Come to find out, the kid can't even go. It'd be that way. Like, it's, it's, it's in situ- like, But it happens on all fronts, because like, even with kids I got, mm-hmm. we had certain media outlets that don't, they ain't even recording us. They're like, dang, they ain't coming out here. No, they ain't coming out here. They don't they ain't record us. So all you, all you tell them is, keep winning. Can't you keep winning, come, the yeah. camera can't stay off you. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Keep, keep winning, winning, boy. They keep come. winning, the camera will come back. Yeah. So, so that's how it goes. So now they need the attention now yeah. on their yeah. they platform. Now. All you got to do is keep winning, man. So they got a situation going on in my day with the uh, with the media situation and rights being bought and the contracts mm-hmm. being given. Mm-hmm. So the man say, no, I can't give you one. We ain't doing that. Say no problem. You're not gonna stop me from coming in anyway, you know. Yeah. And I say I'm okay with that because I'm not the guy looking to take pictures. Yeah. I, I love sharing 305 man mm-hmm. in the crib. I love. Mm-hmm. I, I, that's, I don't got time to be doing all that work. Yeah. So it's like these kids want that, and like you say, mm-hmm. oh, we're not coming to record that kid. I mean, Man, they're in them buildings now for these kids that yeah. they wasn't, you know, like, yeah. I don't got to do that work. I let them do it now. I don't got no problem sharing their stuff. But again, like, I'm, when it comes to that, I'm in Broward County, so pretty nah, much nah, those nah, guys nah. can do what they want to do. But if them guys take the time out their day, man, putting that effort and energy in to try to help to promote the children, promote the youth, man, I don't really understand why you don't let them do it. I mean, at the same time, there's enough money out here for everybody. So we ain't, ain't got to be fighting each other over pennies, man. Mm-hmm. True. They Man, I got to, I got to, I definitely got to get some media up here to talk about that. And I love to have somebody from the GMAC or who over that situation to come and explain it better. Yeah, I mean, because it's a lot of talk, there's a lot of confusion. And literally, like, like I seen one post, you know, the guy was like, I got nothing to do with that. But at the end of the day, it's business. And a lot of people don't understand business. Like, if I own something, I can do it. I want to do it. If I don't want you a part of it, and you don't want to abide by my rules, 
That's what it is. Yeah, but if you're going to do business the right way, do it the right way. That's but it. at the same time, if you don't want them guys capitalizing, you shouldn't capitalize because the ones who put the work in don't receive no, nothing. Nothing. Oh my but, God. That, but that's yeah. what they so think. It they can't think. be right for them not to make money. You make money. But the kids don't make money. And they just uh, think everybody. The money. And they right. just thinking about everybody just making a bunch of money. And mm-hmm. that's not the case. That's not the case. So it's like... It's a messed up situation. It's a bad situation. It's a real bad situation. I don't like it personally, but what could I do? Yeah, you need to get yeah. down and lay down at this point. Then, then again, my school in Broward County, so. You ain't got to deal with it. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all go across, y'all across county line, man. Y'all, y'all go take county all the thing. pictures, camera. What the, boy, y'all bring what the boys everything. say, we going to Broward. Yeah. <laughs> So kids, if, if y'all want to get recorded, man, come to Brown County. Man. If they want to build Section 104, you know, right. come, come to Summoner. <laughs> right up the Hollywood exit, 95 turn back. Hey, y'all ain't got to Centrally located, huh? <laughs> right Ryan past State. County Line, and y'all got all the media y'all uh, want. You know what I'm saying? It is so crazy. And I have these conversations. I had a lot of conversations since Wednesday. It's just literally since Wednesday, like. It's, a, it's at a time where Dade County football is down. I don't believe so. That, that's how they look so. at it, right? Dade County ain't Listen, down. No, no, I no, just no. watched Booker T the other night. And it, I mean, Booker T. No, I'm just saying, this 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 the word. Dade County football down, and now y'all cutting the people that help the kids. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I just don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, but it's business. So me being a businessman, I understand, but... I just don't think it's right. Like you said, there's enough money out here. You build your fan base, you ain't got to worry. Your fan yeah. base coming to you. Yeah. That's just that. So why cut him out? But it is what it is, and I definitely like to have some media up here. Definitely somebody from the GMAC to explain this thing, talk about it, and get it clear because, you know, you have a lot of narratives going, going out there. And, you know, I want to sit down and talk about it on the portal, get this thing straight. And, you know, that's it. But it's that's crazy. Gonna be hard. <laughs> that's going to be hard to get them in here. People oh, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get somebody not, in the organization. They're going to they 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 let you know how to break man, down. Nobody from the GMAC somebody, coming to talk to you. Okay. But okay. somebody <laughs> in the organization of some th- somebody getting that can come talk about it. No. Not, the, not the top dog. I need you a little dog. You not get nobody. I'm going to get somebody that's on the board. I'm going to get nobody. I said that. I said, don't even waste your time. And, and look, until I know y'all two Northwestern guys, and I ain't trying to be funny when I tell you this. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no
I got thing. beat last year with them veterans, man. What y'all thought <laughs> what was you, gonna happen? That's man. what I don't say. <laughs> like, that's what killed me with y'all. You want to know my problem with Northwestern? That's my problem. We go there to the game, but that's my problem. Like y'all, y'all unrealistic. Yo, y'all, y'all, hey, bro, we rescheduled the game again. I said we crazy. They learned last year. I said the field started cool. Hey, yo, I got. Hey, bro. Last year, right? They canceled the game. The game was over. Everybody was gone. Yeah. How many phone calls I made? Oh, you made a lot. I can't even put a jump on it. You were trying to get the game back on? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. I was I, calling I, every five minutes. Hey, bro, no, the game was over. Back. If I don't call both locker rooms a hundred times, the game is over. Hey, the game man. not played. Guess I what? Know. Everybody said that was twelve fault. He should have <laughs> left the people alone. <laughs> <laughs> so this year. The game get canceled. Here you go, my phone. Hold up, hold up. Every last one on. Yo, leave it alone. I, say, <laughs> <laughs> I got at least six phone calls. Yo, they cancel the game, leave it alone. Man, I'm not bothering them people. I know what we facing. <laughs> no, but, 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 and here he go calling me. Nah, but Yo, Twan, that, six man. o'clock yeah, yeah. Saturday. We need some work. Bro, they're like, come on, bro. Leave us alone, we man. Got, we got a big game coming up this Saturday. We need to see what we look like before we get out there. Yeah. That was the that same was a thing. Yeah, the same thing game. for them. Like, they got to open their season up. Vero, Vero right? Vero, yeah. Yeah, nice. so they, they need to see what they, you know what I'm saying, what they, what they need to fix. And I sure agree, but I left it alone, man. Because yeah. I definitely want to That's all I want everybody right. to know. You, 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 you they had nothing to do with this. Nah, yeah, you looking at it for the wrong reasons. No, nah, I know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just joking around. Yeah. But you got to have that work. You want to get that yeah, preseason. Yeah. We're getting number one game. That beating going to help two years from now. Yeah. Two. Yeah, yeah. Two years from now. Yeah. Our problem is we got no trenches. You gotta get them though. But you, you figured that out yesterday. You know that yeah. you got and what you don't have. Exactly. I kept y'all keep that group together, man. Like that's gonna be the hard. Part. I'm not gonna answer your calls in two years. You know you, you already <laughs> know. Don't call my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know real. I'm gonna blow you up, yo. What's up? <laughs> no, man. So I mean, we young. We gonna get better. That's not even a question. Michael Lee gonna have that thing rocking and rolling by mid season. Mm-hmm. But we just young and people got to roll in like, like like they say all the time. That gay crew, that fan base, can't want to hang it. No, I think, grow. I think you just did. The best, Most, thing, the best thing that happened from yesterday is they took the pressure off them. Yeah. It ain't no more pressure, ain't no more expectations. Pipe bus, now yeah. you just got to do what you do at Not, this point. Now you doing now, you just playing football. That's, and ball. that's the easy part. That's it. So yeah, I mean. Can I add one thing to what? y'all while I'm here? Uh-huh. I think. In a few years, too, Kara City the West gonna be a game again. I I, I hope Kara City get back on the mountain. Though. I hey, think man. so. Cheap pride, cheap pride, cheap pride, cheap pride. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. City I'm happy, y'all. Cheap pride. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I hate to see they going to Kara City, man. Oh, I see it. Like, I look man. right, and I'm listening to Freezy talk. I say, oh yeah, he working on something. Who that Freezy? Freezy working on something. He should. And then I just hear him. No, I'm not. Listen. So <laughs> if 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 I'm gonna say if that's if I was do that, I'm strong row coming. There, 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 there we go. Not now there we go. I wanna open that right. door right now. If that would happen, he could do it, he coming. I, I, that's why I opened there the door. And you ain't wrong. He doing the company thing, he doing the right thing. <laughs> the he political answer. <laughs> but <laughs> We'll put the whole band together if it was to happen. Roll, and it, it would not be nice. But, but this is what I'm saying. The reason I say that is because I see Coach Wilder. He, the man trying. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he, I, he I'm seeing this see man face, and he's trying. Now, if people got to support him. And I'm, I hope this is a spotlight. I can't even speak for X and O's, none of that. But I'm saying effort. Effort, yeah. He man everywhere. trying, man. He yeah, everywhere. Man. Like, mm-hmm. I, like I say, I don't know him. I can't speak on him. I know what the program going. I don't even talk about him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I'd rather wish him success before I dog him out. Yeah, and he's exactly. not all and he already in a situation that I wish no coach to be in. Yeah, yeah. You don't even got the community support. And they should because he's sh- giving effort. They they right. cr- they cried, Northwestern, Northwestern. And I made a statement that the other like when the group first started, like, y'all should let Nitro take it. Y'all would have been better off because you would have had players. Them, you would have, you would have had, you would have. He, had, he came in with players. He can't, 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 can't beat up the community for that because the community won't win us. They don't care where you're from. They don't want to win. They don't care where you're from. Y'all want winners, right? DJ came in. First two years, y'all gradually grew. Y'all got to the playoffs last year. 
If that's not, if when that's they, not when, showing. Last year, y'all got to the play. Clarence City got to the playoffs last year. Clarence City made a play. Yes. Yeah. So, they lost first round? Yeah, first round. Had to be. Had to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, they lost first round. You know what Jerome said? Jerome said, my son would not be going home early next year. I already knew what time it was. Yeah. He was leaving. He was going somewhere else. But, mm-hmm. like I say, the hardest part at Clarence City right now is getting the community to, to, to be more involved. And like I said, I don't even try to jack. I don't even try to drag the situation because I don't like the situation for him. I need. Help, I can help him out right here on this platform. Let me help him out. Cause what happened is, everybody. It ain't. You don't have to be a Carrot City guy per se. Right. You, know right. you just got to be in the community right. or from around the community. Right. You know I mean? Like with DJ, good coach. You know what I'm saying? He knows his actions and know he do a good job. But he ain't from Kara City. When I say yeah. from Kara City, he's like not he in the area. He ain't in the yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. So no, no kids in the area don't know. Him. Like if you take me and, and go to overtime, you already. I go to Booger T. A, a lot of kids ain't playing for me. They don't know me. No. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really road when I'm in Booger T. T right. I'm the road when I'm when they come, go back when they go to Kara City. Right. You see what I'm saying? Baby. So, I, so right. that, I did it. That, that what happened to in Cold Rod. Like he in the community, but it's not a familiar face. If you, like take a guy like Rod. We know what Rod would do. Yeah, I, I, I tried. He goes, he goes, man, get out. If Coach Wilder was smart, I would have got the job. I would have hired Butter. Butter should have been the first one he called. Yeah. If Easy. Butter going to get kids if, from the if, community. If, 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 if he get face, Butter, all that stuff running around on set would be gone. at Kara City yeah. with Butter. Yeah. Them all his kids. I That's agree. His kid. But so, why he didn't do anything? Why nobody didn't I don't think direction? Like he said, he's not from here, so I don't think he really knew yeah. it's not saying he's not from it he's working i don't think yeah. he knew the moves to be made like yeah. you know at that time that would have been the first move that would have been yeah. the first move but when coach why? hill, when coach nope. hill grabbed me but all the kids all that kids i knew okay. we was so why nobody out the community like well not you you with them i can't work for them I'm why, working, why, I gotta, that's I why i say not man, man, we we putting the, listen on the portal we put the band back we put the band together man we put the band i got the answer i was we put the band together Paris city is working we put the band together yeah. We roll everybody. You we get the, the whole band off together. 95 on the turn. <laughs> we, we putting the I, band together. I, I, I'm telling I just, y'all right I just, now. I just, I it's just, going hey, down. I seen Freezy talking. Yeah. And I, see, I said, mm, no something together. happened. I said, got to be a it. play mm-hmm. made. And I know with if Freezy involved, it's not nothing small. I know he's going to call him. And it's coming. It's coming. And once it comes. It's gonna be hard because all the kids is on those two parts. I love yeah, to see Kara City get back on the map, boy. I ain't even yeah, gonna lie to you. Question. I'm gonna Kara City. How, but hurt my how important it is for a for a high school coach to be on the part? Very important yeah. nowadays, because like I say, before kids was just going where they was from. Right. Nowadays, you gotta have some kind of. And you got to be the head coach. No, you got to be a guy that. Somebody, you know what I'm somebody got to be the. Somebody got you got to be present. I. I've been coaching. I've been having a lot of success. I still coach at the park. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have some kind of presence. You and can't I look lose at touch North with Western that. staff the last forever. They don't have no coaches on the park. They might yeah. go visit. Man, when I'm at yeah, the park, when I'm at the park coaching, Mike will leave coaching the the pound next to me. Yeah, Mike got the yeah. Mike yeah. got the, Mike the head yeah. coach. Like Mike know yeah. what time it is, yeah. that's but that's, that's what we needed, and I think that's what we lacked in the past. Yeah. Coaches on the park. We got no face on the paw. We got nobody in these kids and parents' ears. We don't have none of that. So, yeah. like, 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 um, like I, I was out there with Rob one day, and we say, um, St. Thomas was here. They came and visited. That's why them kids went there. Yeah. And that's what it's about. You got to build a relationship with these kids coming up, not when they already at thirteen. Yeah. You. Shamanah did a great job of that when they with the purple machine. I really ain't seen them since then though. But they did a great <laughs> job. They no, they did a great job. I, I, no, no, they did a great job of that man. Boy, they, boy, they hit. Bro. I had nothing to do with that. They did their thing. No, but listen, man, listen. listen hold on, listen. hold on. Time out. Bully was going to Kansas City while you was there. He was on the bus and everything. Man, Bullet was on everybody's bus. Like we like to tell him, man, <laughs> hey, enjoy your visits, man. Take all the rap. He was, was living at the West. Everybody Bullet. like Bullet, Bullet. <laughs> Bullet was everywhere. Daddy said, no. <laughs> I sure got excited when he when we he was on the that jersey on. <laughs> he backed that a locker room. I said, "Shit, boy, hey. boy coming here." <laughs> Nick Nick came to Vegas with us, and he, he, he suited up for Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that man, 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 all you do is shit, man, shoot your shot, and it is what it is. Yeah. Man. Like I was telling Rod, Rod, we got probably five five hundred kids in Rolling Stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. The whole so, school, the whole school. Okay. So you might have what. Cut that, say probably about 100 
Got a hundred football players. That's JV and my school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't stockpile. So if I got Bullet right here, like we had Thad was a senior, we grab right. Bullet. Mm-hmm. I don't need another back for like another year. Or two. How you how you feel about that? Mm-hmm. What, what that saying? got what they got to do with you? I ain't I ain't seeing your face. No, no. <laughs> what, what that got to do with I don't kinda I'm still I'm so, gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you where I was at. When, when 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 you ain't see my face, you was at lot of here. I was in a lot of here. That's fine. So I guess gotta, what? I got to lock down but, uh, one. Yeah, but so guess now what? when I lock them down, nah, I, I got to come back this way. But you yeah. can't come back to me like that. That don't work <laughs> with me like that. I don't Bro, move you, like that. You eleven. <laughs> I don't care if I was eight. No, I can't oh, watch listen, eight. You I can't. Watch you eight. can't. You can't come eat my groceries and then leave. Get full and don't come back till you're hungry again. Nah, you gotta. I gotta <laughs> stop by and say what's up. Okay, okay, okay. Well, every time, well, every time I wake up. Every time I wake up, you know, I brush my teeth, you know what I'm saying? I look at everything. Then I look at my phone. I see Rod practicing on 90 field. And I look at my phone two days later, Rod in 90 field weight room. Then I look at my phone. You ain't never again. seen me in 90 field weight room. Rod, I seen y'all in the weight you room. You ain't never seen me in 90 field weight room. Not you. I seen your team. When I say you, I'm talking about your team. You know why? Wait, 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 wait. You're going to let me talk. Man, love, you going to let you know. me talk. Yeah, listen. So what, I'm in, so what I don't do is, I'm sorry, I don't run behind. I don't run behind a woman. I ain't run behind y'all. So when y'all on 90 field, I respect the game. Guess what? And I back up. Guess I go where we come. No, I don't I mean, care no, what they no, did. No, 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 what no, no, I do no, no, is no, I go no, another. I go another no. route. No, no, you well, not, not telling the truth. No, 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 no. See, now he telling a lie on this show. <laughs> no, I just went everybody. Route. Everybody know this. I, I never had a, a, a ambition for coaching past right just, where I'm on the call. A, right. Right. Everybody, every coach who want to do something good for these kids, welcome at the Ravens, right? So just told me I ain't welcome. You know why you ain't welcome? That's something different. But what I'm saying is, if 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 95 say, hey man, I got bigs need to be worked out and they willing to do it, hey man, help these kids. You ain't never seen me because it ain't about me. Kids get if you to say, hey, Rod, man, you got some kids, I'll send them, hey, bro, let me send the kids out there, man. They need some work. You can can they get in y'all with me? We on show. What you okay. Want okay. <laughs> no, I don't. It's a bum, man. That is a bum. But, but listen, but this is what I'm saying. So whoever is willing to help the kids mm. at the Ravens, man, they more than welcome. If a coach want to come out there, right? Michael no. Lee used to come out there. Don't worry the about bringing a bus. Michael Lee. JJ and Joe, Michael Lee came out there, put the tire, showed him how to release. He might not remember. They was 11, 10, 11 years old, but he came out there and was working with them then. Whoever, I don't care. Come help the kids. That's all I care about, man. Yeah, so man. in row situation, all I'm trying to tell you, man, you know, you done got the best that I got. You got my best work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> invite me to the game and give me a hot dog. I'm Stop. a vegetarian. Give me a hot dog. We, we, we invite to the game. We invite like whole teams. My to the locker room. My to the, team oh, ain't we, got nothing. Got so, pic, we have a backdrop. They got Gemini pictures for the team. My man. kids the ain't my kids. My kids. Trophy case and guess, <laughs> ask, listen, he got all that. Ask him if, if, if the Ravens been invited. The one of them. Who the Ravens? Yeah. Y'all be at, y'all be at trash palace. Ask me. Ask if the Ravens ain't in, in, invited. Well, well, guess now, what? How did that no, seem? It's an no, open invite. I just I'm a respectful guy. You ain't being respectful. They got P. Coach linebacker. Man, guess what? Mike. They, uh, they was they was they coaching the purple machine. Tell me they, what, so they, I stayed, they so was I off. They was all coaching the purple machine. Oh, it was it was fair ground then. Okay, so I, I was right. I was right across the street. So I wasn't all, even at Shemina. So, so this is my thing. Too, I right? wasn't at Shemina. All I'm saying, is, I was at Carroll City. You don't feel like on the strength that he should say, "Damn, Matt, come to the game, man. Come check it. I know these are all your boys. You have courtesy, courtesy, dog. I got I got a little courtesy ticket for you. Yeah. Even colleges give the coach a courtesy ticket. So he trying to go low. He to go low. <laughs> you don't so feel like you say, Mac, wait, wait, wait. So, so you, since he going low, we finna go low. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I, hey I we do I this on call, the phone. I want you to know this is a private conversation. I, I, I ain't call him by his team. I say, Rob, me and you good, right? Yeah, man, me and you, we, we talk each other like that. We ain't, we, 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 we need DBs. What's up with Ryan? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm call you back. Never got that call back. That ain't that ain't player, bro. I mean, you talking? You a damn line of truth. Ain't <laughs> Why would man, you do that? So, I'm just saying, man, bro. Nah, you put a guy come holler at your boy. <laughs> man, <laughs> well, we here on the floor, man. It's we been a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a great time on uh, St. Thomas. We had Chance Robinson, enjoy Loud, Ryan Mack. Yeah, good luck to them next week. Yeah, sure. We had Shaman Nob. We had um CJ, JJ, JoJo, Bullet. You know what I'm saying? And right now we finish up with Big yeah. Boy Talk, Rob Mack. Tour, tour appreciate Rwanda. y'all, boy, for coming through, yeah, man. Appreciate you for having us. Rod, right, bring Kara City back. back. Episode yeah. two. We gonna bring live. it back, baby. Kara <laughs> City on the way. Kara City on the way, man. Y'all be, y'all be easy. Yeah. <laughs>